Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on finding the coordinates of a point between the x and y intercepts in a particular ratio. Let's read the question first. The line 2x plus 3y equals 18, which is this line here, passes through the points p, q and r. And it's telling us the ratio of pq, so pq to qr is 1 to 2. So I'm going to write that on the diagram. I like to write ratios on diagrams. So pq to qr is 1 to 2. Work out the coordinates of Q. Now it seems sensible, if we're trying to work out the coordinates of Q, we need to work out the coordinates of P here, which is known as the Y intercept because it's where this line cuts the Y axis. And we should also work out the coordinates of R, which is the X intercept because it's where this line cuts the X axis. Now in previous videos, we've seen to find the Y intercept. When we're on the Y axis, the X value is zero. And if that's not familiar to you, please look at my video on how you find the intercepts, the x and y intercepts of a straight line. So if we substitute x is 0 into this equation, we get 2 times 0 plus 3y is equal to 18. Now 2 times 0 is just 0, so we end up with 3y equals 18, which means that y is 6. So when x was 0, y was 6, so p has coordinates 0, 6. x is 0, y is 6. Let's do the same for r. So that's the x-intercept and we have an x-intercept when the y value is 0. You can see at this point when you're on the x-axis the y value is always going to be 0 so it will be here as well. So we make y 0, we substitute y 0 into this equation, we get 2x plus 3 times 0 is equal to 18. Now, 3 times 0 is just 0, so we can ignore this term. If 2x is 18, that means that x is equal to 9. And let's put those coordinates here. So we've got x is 9, y is 0. So we've worked out the intercepts, and now somehow we need to go from 0, 6 towards 9, 0, and we're going to split that whole distance in the ratio 1 to 2. So that means that this distance is twice as long as this distance here according to this ratio. Now let's think what fraction of the way we want to go across. If it's 1 to 2, the total number of parts there is 3. So if we were to go one part across a total of 3 parts, we would have gone a third of the way. So we've gone a third of the way along from the line from P towards R. We're going a third of that distance from P to Q. Now, I sometimes find it helpful to sort of write out this information on a sort of like a, almost like a, a sort of line. So I'm kind of like flattening out this line like this. We've got the 0, 6 here, the P, and we've got the R, which is 9, 0. And we want to go a third of the way along. Now, let's separately think about the X values of 0, 9, and let's separately work out how far we need to go along the Y values, the 6 to the 0. So firstly, the 0 to 9, what's that difference? Well, that difference is 9. We can see the x value is going up by 9. But we only want to do a third of that. So if you do a third of 9, that's 3. So the x value is just going to be starting from 0. And you're doing a third of that increase of 9. And we can see we will get 3. So, this is, so there's a sort of degree of common sense here. You're going from 0 to 9. You only want to go a third of the way up. So you only go a third of that 9 up. 0 plus 3 is 3. And let's do the same now with the y values. We got 6 here, the y value of 6, a y value of 0 here. So you can see between those two values, you're going down by 6. 6 to 0 is going down by 6. But we only want to do a third of that because we're only going a third of the way along. What's a third of minus 6? Well, minus 2. So starting from 6, rather than going 6 down, we only go 2 down because we're going a third of the way. So we basically do 6 minus 2, which is equal to 4. And now we've worked out the coordinates of Q. The coordinates of Q are x was 3 and y was equal to 4. And that's the final answer.